Hi, I'm Magda from Amelodou Creature. In this video I will show you the project Crochet Pattern by Little Owl's Hat. Little Fox Lizonka. I recommend you to subscribe my channel and visit my blog. The post about the fox with the photos made while working with the project is available in my blog and you can purchase the pattern on Little Owl's Hat Etsy. I also translated the pattern into Polish and it's in Little Owl's Hat Polski Etsy shop. Links are in the video description. In Amigurumi workshop series I told you already about the other projects by Little Owl's Hat and also about my projects. If you'd like to watch the videos go to my playlist. There are separate playlists for Amigurumi Workshop in English and Polish. As for Little O's Hat, I've made already Mouse Sofia, Cute Owl, Jeremy the Cat, Cute Little Pig, Cheerful Santa, Horse White Dream, Cuddly Wuddly Dog. I also translated the patterns into Polish. Within the project based on my pattern, you may watch Pinocchio, Birds in Love, The Cuties, Rufus and Rafia, Star Love. Really Busy Bugs and Thomas from Thomas and Friends. Ok, now let's talk about this project. This is the first page of the pattern. Little Fox Lizonka. You see this cute little fox. Crochet pattern designer Svetlana Pertseva. Skill level experienced. And as for the materials, the designer used the main yarn, acrylic 350 meters per 100 grams and crochet hook 1.75 millimeters. And I used yarn art jeans, dark beige, this is number seven, the main yarn, and for the shoes I used black for the sole, um, light grey, you see, and this is a light grey number 49, antique rose number 75 and yarn art mink gray number 335 uh, by the way i used the yarn for uh, sofia the all in my cutest series this is really really uh, soft i recommend you to try to use uh, the yarn in your projects and uh, i used crochet hook 2 mm for yarn art jeans and 2.5 mm for uh, yarn art mink. Uh, you see the sweater, it is knitted version of the sweater. I used um, one skin of drops baby merino mix number 34. This is a heather color. I knitted with uh, two strands of uh, uh, yarn and uh, I used knitting needles 3 mm for this sweater. I started from fingers and arms. I crocheted thumb and three fingers for each hand, the right hand and the left one. In the pattern the designer inserted the wire frame into the hand and crocheted around it. I didn't use a wire frame because the toy is a gift for a child. Instead of the wire, I added a stuffing gradually. 
The next part was the shoes and legs. They are crocheted in one piece. I made the black sole with yarn art jeans, then changed to light grey and antique rose, and finally yarn art mink. I cut the plastic insole and inserted it inside the shoe. Then I continue the leg with the main beige yarn. In the pattern, the legs are crocheted with the wire, but I didn't use the wire as I told you before. If you use the wire, follow the instructions in the pattern. It's clearly explained how to use the wire. Ends of the wire should be wrapped around with the fabric or electrical tape in order to secure them. Look at the leg. As for the body, stitch marker goes along the center back of the body. I had to make shift stitches and they are mentioned in the pattern. I marked the holes for the arms and legs. You see the pink markers. And in the pattern there is space of chain one for the wire. I didn't use the wire, but I made this chain one. If you use the wire, you should put it from the arms into the holes and from the legs into the holes. And twist the pieces of wire inside the body and secure the ends with tape. Don't forget to stuff the body before you close the opening. The next thing, I marked the tail between rounds 29 and 30, uh, the orange marker. I will crochet the tail later onto the body. Uh, you may also crochet it uh, separately and sew it uh, to the body later. You see the head. The marker goes along the top of the head from the nose, so it's necessary to make shift stitches. I added markers for the eyes and neck, but I had to adjust the markers for the neck later, before I started needle sculpting. The neck markers were a bit shifted regarding my eyes. Perhaps it was just in my toy and it will be okay with yours. I planned to add safety eyes before I closed the opening, so I needle sculpted the head the eye sockets and the mouth to insert uh, safety eyes. I used 12 mm safety eyes. In the pattern, the needle sculpting is made after crocheting the head and then the designer attached the eye with the glue. I prefer safety eyes. You see that the left ear is ready. Before I started the ears, I divided the head symmetrically in half, sketched both ears with the pins, I counted from the yellow pin. Everything is clearly described in the pattern on the diagrams. You shouldn't have any problems with the ears, but they are not so easy to do. Firstly, it is better to crochet the first round for both ears to check if they are placed in the right position. You may also crochet the ears separately and then sew them to the head. I definitely prefer to crochet onto the head, not separately, because I avoid sewing it if it's not necessary. The ears look similar to the Jeremy the Cat, also um, made by the designer Svetlana Perceva, and the way of crocheting is quite similar. You see the lips. Lips are made in two versions, the first one and the second one. I prefer the first one, so I will sew it uh, in this place later. And also I made uh, the eyebrows. Um, in the pattern the eyebrows are in this uh, place. Uh, 
but I I'm thinking about using the eyebrows for the eyelids uh, to cover the safety eyes a bit and I could embroider the eyebrows with a black thread uh, later so I have to think about it I have the sweater and not finished yet because I wanted to show you what I did. In the pattern there is a knitted and crochet version for the sweater. I prefer knitted sweater. To knit the sweater it's good to know how to make knit pearls and cables. A crocheting in the round with double pointed needles is also useful. I used the yarn drops baby merino to threads and knit and needles 3 mm as I told you. I chose it uh, because I like the heather color and it suits uh, this uh, antique uh, rose shoes I think. I adjusted the pattern. M my ribbing is longer, not 4 rows uh, but uh, 8 and my front and the back parts uh, include approximately 20, 20 rows and they have almost the same number of the same number of uh, stitches in the row. The front part is uh, less 5 stitches from both sides. Uh, so I had 32 stitches in the row, not 42 as it was stated in the pattern. Mm. Then, after knitting front and back, I sewed the upper part, the front and the back. It, here is the seam. And I started the sleeves. In the pattern, the sleeves were knitted separately and then sewed. Uh, because I don't like sewing, as you know, so I picked up the, the stitches directly onto the edges, inserting the needle along uh, the edge. Uh, firstly, I counted 10 stitches of, from this seam. 10 from the right and 10 from the left. So we have 20 stitches. Uh, here is uh, the collar. I picked up the stitches around uh, the neckline. I used uh, double pointed needles uh, and I knitted in the round. Finally, I cast it off and crocheted the edging with yarn art mink. I think uh, this little detail corresponds with the shoes. What is to do next? I have to sew the mouth, crochet the right ear and the tail. I will also add eyelids and eyebrows. I have to embroider the nose. If you like, you may shape the, the nose with a polymer clay and bake in the oven or add the ready-made nose. As for sweater, I have to sew the sleeves and the, and the this sides. I will put the sweater and sew the head to the body and assemble arms and legs regarding the pink markers. And the last thing, let's look at the size of particular parts of the body. And by the way, I got the tape measure uh, from Knitcrate. It was in Knitcrate membership June theme calico. And so I have centimeters and inches head without ears is about 8 centimeters shoes and legs about 10 centimeters the sole is 5 centimeters the body and 9.5 centimeters the fingers approximately 3 centimeters and uh, arms with a hand uh, 11.5 centimeters 
and without the hand five centimeters so it's useful if you want to um, insert the wire frame for arms and legs now i have to finish uh, the fox gather all the parts uh, and uh, we'll see in a few hours i think and here we have the fox i tell you what i did firstly i crocheted the right ear then i sewed arms and legs to the body look at this and i crocheted the tail then I put on the sweater and uh, I have I had difficulties uh, uh, with the uh, sleeves uh, to put the, the arms uh, through the sleeves but uh, um, I made it as you can see and then I sewed the head to the body head is stable so that's great and then I started uh, finishing the face details so I sewed the lip I needle folded uh, the pink tongue I embroidered the nose and I also needle folded this white I sewed um, the eyelids uh, they were uh, eyebrows as, uh, as you um, as you heard uh, before because I was wondering if I use it as eyebrows or eyelids I chose eyelids and I embroidered the eyebrows with the black floss I also glued the eyelashes uh, firstly I glued these false eyelashes uh, um, to the piece of uh, black felt and then I glued uh, uh, this black felt to the inner parts of the eyelids I added some details that I didn't plan so I sewed the cute button with the ladybug and uh, here the buttons with the butterflies I also tinted the ears a bit and I blushed uh, the cheeks so here we have the fox look at the fox once again and as for the size finished the size the fox without the ears uh, is about 26 centimeters tall so similar to the finished size of the um, toy original toy it uh, was uh, 25 centimeters i recommend you to visit my blog i published the post about working on the a little fox and all the useful links are in the video description thank you for watching and see you in the next videos tutorials uh, and so on bye